Hello tech people. Today, we are going to be building our very own mini car, and it's going to be inside a mint box. Yes, you heard that right. Let's get started. We're going to put an entire remote controlled car inside this tiny mint box. For this, we obviously need this mint box. And the entire project is made possible by this tiny beast. The Seed Studio Xiao ESP32 microcontroller board. Next, we need micro coreless motors. These are 16 millimeters in length. You should measure your box and get the required size. We need a motor driver. This TB6612 FNG based mini motor driver is perfect for our project. A small battery. This one is 500 milliamp hours. The Xiao ESP board has an inbuilt battery management circuit, so the battery can be soldered right onto the board, and we don't need extra circuitry for that. I will be using these small clamps to fasten the motors to the box. These are normally used to clamp wires onto walls, but they're also perfect for these motors. Alternatively, you can also use a hot glue gun to stick them onto the box. And four tiny wheels. I took them off an old toy car. The code link is in the description. Download and open it in Arduino IDE. Here, we will be using these libraries. Arduino JSON, Async TCP, ESP Async Web Server. Install these libraries from the Library Manager. The web page for the web server is included in a separate file in the project. Make sure to include that too. To decrease the speed of the car, use this variable. The higher this value, the slower the car runs. Because at full speed, the little feller is pretty uncontrollable. Then you can just upload the code. If your project does not compile or crashed after upload, downgrade your ESP core version to 3.0.7. That worked for me. Let's put the motors in first. First, solder the motor driver to the ESP32. Next, I am going to solder the battery to the board through a switch, so that we can turn it off when not needed. The connection diagram is linked in the description. Put the battery in place. Fasten the switch with some screws. Once that is done, we solder the motors onto the driver. The Xiao board needs an external antenna to work properly, especially if it is going to be inside this metal box. So we use the antenna that came with the board.
On your mobile, open Wi-Fi settings and scan for networks. Find and connect the ESP32 Xiao network. The password is 12345678 if you have not changed it in the code. Once connected, open a web browser and open 192.168.4.1. You should get your controller page. That's it, you're ready to go. Comment your ideas on how we can improve the design of this tiny car. And hit like if you are interested in making one yourself. And subscribe for more updates on this project and more.